Hi Jane from Earth Palette here and today I thought we would do some dyeing with the Earth Palette cotton dyes and today I bought this pillowcase which is cotton from the op shop that it's got a few marks on it that are from rust or something by the look of that but I thought it looked like a good candidate for dyeing to show you how it works out so I'm going to put this on to soak for at least 20 minutes in some soda ash and water solution and before we get on with dyeing it. You can leave it overnight if you want, put it on one night and do it the next night, but it needs to be at least 20-30 minutes before you apply the dye. Okay, so we're back, we've got our pillowcase that we had soaking. I've just squeezed most of the water out and to lay it out flat, I'm going to use, this is a garbage bag and I've just cut off the end and split up the side to give me a nice big piece of plastic. It's just a cheap, well, black and gold, this one was, but home, no brand plastic. And I'll lay our pillowcase down on it. Okay, so on this one, what I'm going to do is sprinkle some of the dye powder on it. So I've got the Earth Palette cotton dyes. The pillowcase, as I said, has been soaked for about for a couple of hours actually in the soda ash water solution. And this is the turquoise dye. And I'm just going to sprinkle a bit on wherever. I'll leave the lid off for a minute while I put it there. The brilliant red I will do that I'll do I'll make sure I leave the lids next to it I've got orange a little bit of orange takes a few seconds for the dye to sort of get damp on it and the violet oh we forgot yellow we better do some yellow as well hadn't we ideally when you do this it's best to wear a mask or some sort of dust mask or something which I'm not wearing because I just wasn't sure you'd be able to hear properly while I was talking but generally I wouldn't I would put a dust mask on while I was doing this to make sure there's no inhalation of the dust of the dye powder as you can see it's quite a quite a heavy granules but um, you don't want to breathe it in it's not toxic as such but um, long-term exposure or any dust is really not good for you to breathe in and long term you can develop a bit of an allergy to it so now you can flip it over I'm not sure if my plastic's going to stick to this or you can just leave it I might even just leave it I will put the lids on my dies I'll just check it and make sure I'm all good with that I think so oh no I might put, put a bit of yellow over there it doesn't appear to have a lot of yellow there and just double check everything's all in order yep doesn't take much dye powder to actually leave plenty of color so just be careful the turquoise is actually a much finer powder and therefore it doesn't sprinkle quite as easily as some of the others so you do get a bit of clumpiness with it the brilliant red I might just put a fraction over there and over here bit there can you ever have too much pinky red in your life I'm sure you could okay the violet I know this is orange orange should we put any more orange anywhere a little bit there perhaps huh? that'll do 
And the violet, this is a really pretty violet, so we might just add a little bit more. Okay, right. I think that'll do. Now that will gradually overnight actually spread. But I'm going to leave it there. I did cut another garbage bag, the ends off, and I'm just going to spread it out and lay it over the top so that it stays damp. Press it down. That'll just spread the dyes a little bit more. Make it stick down. And I'm just going to leave that and come back and check it in the morning. I might actually tuck the ends under to make sure it stays damp. Not that it dries out overnight and we don't get our, a good effect. Okay. Now I haven't done the other side as I said. But that will soak through, but if, you could by all means flip it and do some on the other side, but I've decided not to, I'll just do it like this. Okay, we'll be back in the morning to have a look. So we're back to have a look at our dyeing. look how that's come out it's pretty cool you can still see a few specks of dye there and we'll turn it over the other side well, take the other plastic off while we turn it over so this is the back side of it okay so that's the front and that's the back okay so now I'm going to rinse it out thoroughly in cold water any dye that's left there will be deactivated and it won't dye anyway so I'm just going to give it a really good wash in some cold water and with a bit of detergent added and um, show you how it looks after we've done all that okay okay so we're back to have a look at our pillowcase now that it's all dry you can't really tell that it had the pale blue embroidery on it well you can still see it a bit but it's not really that stand out ish and um, you can still see the spots where the dye granules landed so this is the right side and this is the wrong side as you can see the color has gone all the way through it in the middle so yeah so just another way to use the the dyes as powdered but as i said a little bit of caution please wear a dust mask if you're using them as powders to make sure you're not inhaling any long-term powder inhalation can desensitize your tooth to the dyes but um, all in all i think that's pretty cool pattern a pretty cool way it's turned out thank you for joining me feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next dyeing video